Right over to our man, Mr. Dave Mazza. He, Dave is the head of product and a managing director at Direction Shares. We talk uh, to Dave every two weeks. Dave Mazda, what's going on? Hey, doing well, thanks. Happy to be back. It's, it's great to have you back. And, you know, e the ETFs in general, Dave, have got so much publicity. I mean, you know, last couple of years we've got a lot of publicity. But the last week, it's pretty amazing how many stories I've read in the Wall Street Journal about the amount of ETFs that are out there, number one, and that how putting portfolios together, um, you know, going forward. And it's pretty cool, you know, when you hit the direction banner, folks, what you're going to see is this. I mean, we get ETFs for traders. We get ETFs for investors. And the bottom line is that if you're a, you know, well, we are retail traders. But what, what seems to have happened, Dave, is this. Like the ETFs that you actually have, you can build, you know, a full portfolio. And whether we're talking about, you know, the oil business, the biotechs, um, the going into the future, the thermatic ETFs. Um, and then we get the bonds inside there, too. So it's pretty cool what has happened inside of the business in general. Um, so can you just talk a little bit about the, the aspect of, number one, the, the ETFs that Direction does have, and number two, building portfolios with them? You know, because it seems to me, after reading some of these articles, that's where this whole business is actually going now. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I think what I find remarkable and one of the reasons why ETFs have been getting so much attention in the financial media in the last week is that if you look through the first six months of 2021, yes, there's been more flows into ETFs than the entirety of 2020, which was a record year itself. Wow. So in okay. half the period of time, uh, it's already broken that record. And I think the reason why is to your very point. Historically, people thought of ETFs as uh, really only for niche exposures, or if I'm a trader, I'll use them to trade and I'll use my mutual funds to invest. Yes. But because ETFs uh, or individual stocks, what have you, it, because ETFs offer such breadth of exposures now, so slice and dicing the equity market uh, in exciting ways like thematic products, you know, yes. in addition to sectors, industries, countries, fixed income, right? So there you can build in, in entirety of portfolios from treasuries to corporate bonds to senior loan ETFs. And then, of course, commodities. So those are um, uh, and, and other alternatives that are coming to market. And I think importantly is that we're not just seeing the growth in the passive kind of set it and forget it portfolios, which is, is happening. But we're also seeing growth in our business. Uh, in fact, our assets are at all time highs because we're seeing traders use our leverage and inverse ETFs in ways that they haven't before because we've seen more volatility. One of the areas that we've seen significant volatility that we've talked about before, and you noted it uh, just a few minutes ago, is what's going on in the Treasury market. Yes. Um, so there's so the rate moves that we're seeing, um, in some ways, are pretty are, are pretty are actually pretty pretty remarkable. You know what's so cool, man, is that that and going forward, folks. Okay, the the bottom line, you never could get exposure to so many equities. Like if this was five or ten years ago when someone asked me dave like if you i want to be in the market i used to just tell them hey listen man buy the spy and forget it okay i mean because the bottom line is that you know over a long period of time if you can you know not go well you're going to go through the downdraft but you, you get my gist okay yeah now what has happened though is that you can build you know let's say you can have 10 great etfs and have an amazing portfolio that you would have had to be a professional 15 years ago to do. You know, that, I mean, that, that, that seems to be the reality now. What I, what I think, and again, uh, what I think is really exciting is that, to your point, for, for some investors, if it's just a long-term uh, portfolio that you don't necessarily want to look at and you really only add to, you can probably stick with broad-based S&P 500 or total market ETFs at the core. But now, to your point, you can complement that with uh, you know funds that are focused on sustainability, if that's something that matters to you, or funds you know focused on themes like our work from home ETF or our moonshot innovators ETF yes. to kind of complement that long term holding. Uh, and then of course, um, if you are a trader and you have the ability to monitor your portfolio or interested in that, you know you can look to our leveraged inverse ETFs alongside probably which should still be the core, most of the, your your core holdings in some of those more uh, basic type strategies. But every investor can personalize their own portfolios today by using the breadth of ETFs. And to your point, 
in a way that just was never available. And if it was, it would have been extremely costly to do so. And the, one of the benefits of ETFs is that generally there's some of the uh, lower, low cost, the lowest cost uh, offerings you're going to see, and they offer this great tax efficiency uh, and the flexibility that comes with trading on an exchange. Well, the, the tax efficiency is amazing compared to a mutual fund. There's no doubt about that. And we haven't even actually talked about the aspect if folks like international markets, because the bottom line is that they can throw a little international inside of that simultaneously. So it's really intriguing, you know, basically how this whole thing has been laying out. So the, the amount of money that is coming into these right now um, is pretty amazing. There's no doubt, right? And, and we've, we're seeing that in the professionals also, right? Yeah, correct. So uh, it's really been broad-based. So uh, retail investors are now using ETFs be uh, more and more so, primarily because we saw commission rates come down across the board alongside yep. professionals, right? So I think that really tells you about the resiliency of the vehicle itself. There's no doubt. Well, listen, it's always a pleasure. Appreciate the education. You have a great one, safe one. We look forward to speaking at two weeks from today, Dave. Thank you. We'll talk soon. Thank you. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, Bye. folks. We'll come right back.